Hello everyone, it's Jen from Old Tinker Studio. In this Quixel Mixer tutorial for beginners, you will be learning how to texture a stylized 3D model made in Blender 2.9 with Quixel Mixer. The link to download Quixel Mixer is in the description. So let's get on with the tutorial. We will be exploring how to use Quixel Mixer to texture a stylized 3D model from Blender 2.9. I would recommend watching my Getting Started with Quixel Mixer video before proceeding with this tutorial. If you want to follow along, I've made this model available. The link to download it is in the description. I've already unwrapped all the objects. This Blender file contains the low poly mesh as well as the high poly sculpted mesh. The first thing we need to do is prepare the model and bake all the maps for this model. I have already unwrapped the model and provided the UV map in the download. We will be baking four maps from the low poly and high poly meshes to bring into Quixel Mixer. In order to bake these meshes, we need to be in the cycles. We will first bake the metallic map. However, since we do not have a metallic option for baking, we will be using the roughness map. Select the low poly mesh, and under the shading workspace, add two materials, one for wood and one for metal, and assign them to the proper faces. Since this is a roughness map that we will be using, we need to change the roughness for the metallic parts to 1 and the roughness for the wooden part to 0. This will mean that the metallic parts will be fully metallic and the wooden parts will be fully rough. Add an image texture node. and make a new texture. Then copy this node onto the other material. Open the image in the image editor. Under the render properties tab, under the bake section, choose roughness for the bake type, then click on bake. Notice how the metallic parts are white and the wood parts are black on the UV. Then save your metallic map. Now we will bake the roughness map. Create a new image on the image texture node. Make sure to name it properly. And change the roughness to zero for all the metal parts. Then open up the roughness image for the wood texture. 
and change the roughness to 1. Open the image in the image editor. Under the render properties tab, under the bake section, choose roughness for the bake type and click on bake. Notice that the wood parts are white and the metal parts are black on the UV. Then save the roughness map. Now we will bake the ID map. Make a new image on the image texture node and name it. Make sure you open the same image on the image texture node for the other material. Open up the image in the image editor. Under the render properties tab, under the bake section, choose diffuse for the bake type and click on bake. Then save your ID map. If, like mine, the ID map is not completely correct, we can easily fix this in a software like Photoshop or GIMP. Open the saved ID map in GIMP or the software of your choice. Add a new layer and box select the barrel portions. And fill the selection in with the color. Then repeat this process with the metallic parts using a secondary color. Then export the new ID map. Next, we will bake the normal map. Unhide the high poly barrel. Select the low poly mesh and add a shrink wrap modifier to it. The target will be your high poly mesh. Delete both of the materials and add a new default material. Add a normal map node. And connect it to the normal input of the BSDF shader. Add an image texture node. Connect the color output to the color input of the normal map node. Make a new image texture and name it appropriately. Change the color space to non-color data. And open the image in the image editor. Select the high poly mesh and control select the low poly mesh. Under the render properties tab, under the bake section, choose normal for the bake type. Activate selected to active and change the extrusion. We need to have as close to a completely purple image as possible. Then click on bake. 
and save your normal map. Now it's time to import our mesh and maps into Quixel Mixer. Select the low poly mesh and export it as an FBX. Make sure that you have limit to selected objects checked so only the low poly mesh will be exported. Open up Quixel Mixer and start a new mix. Under the model settings, for type, choose custom mesh and import the low poly FBX mesh. Under the layers tab, twirl open the metalness map and import the metallic map you saved in Blender. Repeat this process for the roughness, normals, and material ID. You can rename the IDs for the material ID by clicking in the name field and typing in a new name. I will add a solid layer and change the albedo to a brown color. I'll now right click on the layer and choose Add ID Mask and place a check mark next to the wood material ID. If you're not sure which color belongs to the wood, choose 8 on the keyboard or choose Material ID from the drop down menu and you can see which color belongs to the wood material. I can now add a second solid layer and change the albedo to a dark gray color. I now right click on the layer and choose Add ID Mask and place a check mark next to the metal material ID. If I want to add some wear to the edges of the mesh, I can duplicate the wood layer and rename it. I now right click on the layer and choose Add Mask Stack. I then click on the Add Mask component and choose Curvature. This will act just like a curvature map that we could have baked in Blender. Since I want to only affect the edges, I will click on the albedo color and make it a bit lighter. I then click on the mask to go back to its options. I change the first drop down menu to edges only. and the second drop-down menu to Base Normals. If I had any type of material like dirt on the layers below, I would leave it on Underline Mix so the mask would affect all the layers below. I then use 9 on my keyboard to view just the layer mask, and I change the tightness to achieve the look I want. Using one on the keyboard, I switch back to the metalness view, and I can now see the lighter edges. Now I want to add some depth to the cavities, so I duplicate the edges layer and 
and rename it. I changed the albedo color to a darker color. I select the mask and choose cavities only and change the tightness. And if I wish, I can repeat this process for the metal parts. And yes, I know there's issues on the sculpting, but this is just for demonstration purposes. Now we can open up the export tab and export all the new maps. Back in Blender, delete the material on the low poly barrel. Add a new material. With the BSDF shader node selected, use Control, Shift, and T and open the exported maps. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.